Hello, my name is Vili Lehdonvirta. And I'm Otto Kassi. And we are here to introduce a paper titled The Global Platform Economy, a new offshoring institution enabling emerging economy microproviders, which we've co-authored with Isi Sjorth, Helena Barnard and Mark Graham. So usually when people talk about the platform economy or the sharing economy, they are thinking about services like ride hailing or food delivery that take place inside a city. But our topic is what we call the global platform economy, or platforms that mediate between buyers and sellers in different countries across borders. Uh, in, in, in particular, we are interested in so-called online labor platforms, which are platforms that connect buyers and sellers of digitally mediated work, labor, uh, which can be anything from copywriting and graphic design to data entry and even software development. If we look at the uh, previous literature on cross-border service trade, in international business literature, what we see is that usually these offshore service providers are large companies. In general, transnational trade is usually dominated by large companies. And in part, this is because transnational cross-border trade involves many transaction costs and frictions and barriers, uh, such as information asymmetry. And overcoming these barriers requires resources that usually only large companies possess. But what we see in the global platform economy is that the providers are often one-person micro-providers. So this creates a bit of an empirical and theoretical puzzle. How is it possible that these tiny one-person micro-providers uh, are succeeding in successfully offering services globally? We propose that the answer to this puzzle is that the platform act as a, acts as an information intermediary that allows to smooth the information asymmetry between the microproviders and their clients. In particular, we identify three types of signals that the platform provides on the microproviders. The least reliable of these signals are the unverified signals, such as uh, skills that the microproviders list on their profiles. The second most reliable signals are platform verified signals such as the feedback ratings given by the clients from their previous from the previous completed projects. The most reliable of the signals are platform generated signals such as comp successfully completed projects for previous clients that are displayed on the microprovider's profiles. Consistent with signaling theory, we find that the more reliable signals have a higher effect on the microprovider's pay rates. And furthermore, we find that the signals are more helpful to, to microproviders coming from poorer countries. Our findings help to explain how microproviders from emerging economies can access global demand to their skills thus enriching the literature on internalization from emerging economies. We study this using digital trace data, or so-called big data, from a leading online freelancing platform. We complement the quantitative data with 107 face-to-face -face interviews with microproviders from Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa.